Okay, so I just got out of Publix. I'm about to break my fast. Um, I've been fasting for 22, almost 22 and a half hours. And I'm gonna break it. And I'm gonna have me a snack because I'm on my way to the beach. I bought these at Publix. I'm trying to find like alternative, like healthy snacking options. Uh, I've got these um, hip peas, organic chickpea puffs, vegan white cheddar puffs. I'm gonna add a few of these honey chipotle, uh, chipotle cashews. Just a few snacking options. I'm making salmon today. And then I got some pistachios, pistachios. I have a few of these. All right. I'll see you guys when I'm on the road. Ooh, woo. that's good. state park pass it's so convenient i don't have to pay i pay the one time up fee i got a discount and now i come to whatever state park i want this is so freaking awesome thank you family uh, for those of you who put it in my comment section that uh, veterans get discounts on state park passes annual state park passes um, i appreciate it so much and uh, let's back in like you always do i'm just gonna stay here all day Wow, somebody coming behind me as I back up. Like, come on, bro. Come on, man. There we go. And now we're good. So I was just thinking, I really uh, try to give you guys the most realistic feel to my life as possible. Um, for those of you who are new to the community, um, I'm, li I'm living in a van, yes, to travel full time, but at the same time, when I first start, when I first left Michigan to head down to Florida, I said that I want to look at it van life differently for me. It's not that I want to live in a van to travel full time. This is my life. I don't see myself living any other way um, at this point in my life. Lord, Lord willing, God willing, um, I I am healthy enough to live this way until it's time for me to leave this planet. Um, I'm gonna do everything I can to remain healthy and be healthy. That's why I fast. That's why I, you know, try to incorporate healthy habits. That's why I'm constantly working on me. Um, I am always trying to work on me because living this lifestyle, you can't be unhealthy. You can't eat a ton of junk food every day and not work out, not exercise, not bike, not fast, not take care of yourself. It's easy to let yourself go. Right now, it is five minutes to one. We're going to make dinner. Yes, I have been eating earlier and earlier, and it's been helping me. Eating early, um, I feel great. I feel really good when I lay down. The food is, you know, digesting through my system. So let's start, let's start working on dinner. So, yeah, I bought some, um, I went to, uh, uh, hold on one second. Let me uh, open up this here. And I'm gonna be using lights because it's sunny out. And this is my beach bag. It's sunny out. And um, my it's not gonna mess with my solar. So we're good on that. Okay. All right. Let's uh, turn some lights on. And let's open up some windows. I do have, oh, that fan, feel, let's put the fan on. Well, actually, I don't need it on right now. The breeze feels good. Um, I do have a, um, what do you call it? A screen for my big door. I have it up there on my storage. I'm just too lazy to get it. Um, thankfully, there's no bugs coming in or that window would not be open. So there's going to be some ambient noise for a while. I'm gonna run the fan to cool it off in here and then I'll turn it off here in a minute.
I know it's weird seeing me eat this early because normally I eat at night. But uh, like I said, my routine is ever changing and I'm always trying to better myself. Um, I value my life, my health, and I want to live a very long, healthy life. So that's why I have been, um, I have been uh, upgrading, you know, constantly like changing my, trying to figure out what works for me as far as eating. And this actually is better for me to eat early to get that out the way. Because I'm at the point in my life now, I am a foodie, don't get me wrong. You guys know I love food. But food is not the main motive, motive, the main factor in my life. It's not the driving force in my life. Um, I don't live to eat. <laughs> you know? That's not my purpose. We're cooking up some salmon and spinach. I went to Publix. I got the bourbon salmon and I got regular salmon. And I'm going to cook up all of it today and then have some of it for tomorrow. So we're going to cook all this salmon up. And we're going to turn that heat down. We'll do brown sugar bourbon. And we'll do Frank's Red Hot for a little kick. Let that oil get up under it. Turn it down a bit. All right, I know styrofoam isn't good, guys. Hot. I will work on getting something different, but for now, this is what I have. I don't like to do dishes. I'll get something different. So please don't come for me in the comments about styrofoam. Please don't. All right, here's the salmon. Come on, come on. Come on. Sorry. The spinach, I'm just gonna eat it. I, I'm not gonna wash it. I have water, but I don't want to go through it, so we're just going to eat it. I'm going to eat a couple handfuls. We'll do bourbon salmon. And we'll just break it up. Look at that. Perfectly cooked. Look at that bourbon salmon. And then we'll get half of this big boy right here. I'm using this Chobani coconut Greek yogurt. Put a little Greek yogurt. Dinner is served. First bite always goes to you fam. Why well, try? I don't want to say always now. Have that bite right there. I got, okay, more salmon, more sauce, got you. There you go, have that bite right there. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna eat that other little piece of salmon too. I'm gonna and finish off this Greek yogurt. Mmm. Mmm. That coconut Greek yogurt is so good with this salmon. There's the other piece. Mm-hmm. This is van life. This is real life right here. If it wasn't for the fan, it, I would be dripping in sweat. It would be a lot cooler if I didn't cook, but... I have to cook. Mm-hmm. This is nice.
the bourbon salmon is the best I've ever had. The Greek yogurt is a little bit sweet, not too sweet. Um, so I'm gonna apply some sunscreen since I do wear sunscreen. Oh, I said SPF 30, it's SPF 50. So we are going to apply sunscreen because, um, yeah time to protect the skin we got enough sun and uh... okay let me show you the beach and why I will not be going to the beach at this time look at all those people every square into the beach and that's why I will not be going right now <laughs> yeah that's a, my worst freaking nightmare I should have did a pull off, but it's okay. Let's go for a walk. I'm just using the bike path to walk. You see, no motor vehicles. So, that's how I get my little exercise in. I might even walk up out of this place. I'm gonna buy me a, a reflective vest so I can use it when I walk and for when I ride my bike so I can be seen. All right, let's go. Nature trail picnic area. I'm, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna embrace things like this more instead of having a wild imagination. I mean, I'll respect nature and be alert, but I don't think they're alligators. I gotta worry about more so snakes and spiders, but I should be fine. And I got my Crocs on, I didn't wear my hiking shoes that I bought because I'm gonna hit the beach up after and I don't want to get sand in them so we're gonna do this trail here Osprey 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 trail it's um 2.2 miles had I known there was a trail like this I definitely would have worn my shoes but there's no turning back it's okay these crocs are built croc tough we're using doing the crocs look at the turtle Oh my god, I love turtles. All right, we'll walk past it. I don't know if it'll go in its shell and then we'll walk past it. Look at that beautiful turtle. Hey, buddy, I'm not gonna harm you. Wow, look how beautiful that is. I love turtles. Oh, look, I love turtles. All right, we're just gonna walk past it. That's a turtle. Look at it. It's not even scared of me. I'm gonna walk past it. Bye! Look at the turtle. That was cool. Wow. Look at that. It's like everything got fried. It's the first time I've seen a turtle in a long time. Well, when I went to the springs the first time I went and I was unprepared and got my feet wet. No. Was that? No. I'm getting my states mixed up. First time I saw the turtles when I came here and I went to the springs. I saw three of them on a, like a log. Look at that. Everything's burnt. Fried to a crisp. That was a beautiful turtle. We saw a turtle. I love turtles. We're gonna go this way. Your girl, your girl ain't doing no restricted area, okay? Okay. Look how far we gotta go, fam. I think this is my turnaround point. Look, look, look all the way down there. Look at all that. That's far. I mean, you got a fat path. Ooh, we'll go a little ways further. And if there's no exit, we'll turn around. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna turn back around because that way's Pelican Trail. And uh, we're just doing more trails at this point. 
see the sign so yeah uh, we did enough we did a lot actually that I didn't film so it's about a couple miles I did well it'll be probably four going back so uh, we're headed back now because now we're going into another trail uh uh your girl ain't down for that look at all the sand my bike would not make it my tread isn't deep enough I would have for sure probably got a flat tire coming on this trail now if I would have got the all terrain all mountain bike trek I could have came back this way the tread is deep and it's made for this kind of terrain I'm so happy look we made it picnic area oh started hearing stuff yeah I got paranoid I started jogging I don't got time for this but I conquered something guys I never would have done this ever go out there go out there I never I never would have done that two miles on a trail by myself surrounded by trees and stuff and knowing this is snake and spider and alligator landing I'm not gonna go in the van I'm gonna hit the beach up I'm gonna have to find me a spot on the beach because it's hot um, so far I've done 29 minutes of cardio. Well, almost, so it's 28. 28 minutes and 44 seconds of cardio. I said that's a good day. This is the only part of the beach where there's not people, so, that I can show you, isn't that beautiful? Like, just on the other side of that is the deep waters, the deep oceans. Warning, structure not for public access. Oh. Look at that jet ski, so cool. And then you just got like, like the whole beach with people. So, it's a busy day, busy beach day people out fishing we are at the laundromat and uh no your girl ain't washing clothes today i am let me put some light on in here sorry about this i should have been better prepared i uh, set you guys up there we go um we are gonna i'm gonna be washing my curtains today so it's time can you believe it i haven't washed my curtains since I bought them. So <laughs> it's time. They're filthy. So I did go on the laundry mat. They did tell me that there is a uh, washing machine that's big enough to fit the curtains. Uh, let me put you guys at a different angle. Sorry about that. There we go. So you guys can see. And uh, I got my window cover up so I can have privacy in here and uh you know what i do have a little bit of clothes i might as well just throw the clothes in there too while i'm at it there's that yeah i'm using a garbage bag because i'm uh using hold on let me turn you guys I'm using a garbage bag for my laundry now. It's a new thing I'm doing because my la actual laundry bag that I used to use, I'm using now. I'm now using that for storage. So I'm using a garbage bag. I literally don't care. No shame of using it. I've got so much like underwear, socks, bras that it just doesn't fit in my drawer. So I currently have to get out this. I'll put that down here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to take y'all in the laundromat, but uh, I'll be right back so we can start organizing while my clothes are washing. I'll be right back. So. Where's the other cushion? I'm missing a cushion. It's probably in the bathroom. Oh, and I fixed my cur- Oh! 
I forgot to throw this one in here. But you know what? This one is not dirty. This one up, these two up here were dirty because I was stepping on them. It's accumulating dirt. So this one's still clean. So I'm not too stressed about that one. But it would have been nice to wash it anyways. So let's take, and it would have been nice to wash these too. But it's okay. So we're going to take all this down, kind of get this out the way, open it up a bit. So now what we're going to do is, first thing is first, I'm going to move y'all, well, I guess y'all can stay back here. I don't want y'all too close. We're going to organize up here. Uh, I do have a vent. This right here is amazing. Uh, during the day when it's extremely hot outside, this vent up here, I just crack a window, turn on this vent, and the airflow is amazing. It's so cool. It feels good in here. But at nighttime when I'm hot and my batteries are dead, my coach battery is dead, this is pointless, right? This runs off the coach battery. Um, so I'm trying to just figure out a way to just conserve energy, you know. And this right here, fam, this is the uh, bug net that goes right here. Um, I just don't see a way. You see this, the bug net. I have one. Uh, just like this, there we go. It goes across and then it's a magnet that just magnet shuts, but I never use it. But I'm going to. I'm definitely going to use it. I just never use it, but I do have one. Like I said, I, I do have one. Okay, so I'm back. Um, and I got a lot done. I'm pretty much done. I organized my entire van. Let me show you. Let me show you. So up there is organized. Uh, empty laundry bag that I'll use or something my tent um my uh beach bag my military jacket that i no longer use my net and then some like first aid stuff and uh my drone and stuff so that's that uh that's all good now let's go in the back um you'll see this is my shower bag and then i have this container that has like my thor manual uh my hoses in it that's triple bagged um and just some like other like odds and ends that I don't use that I need for the van. And then in here is just, um, what's in here? Like my winter clothes. This is trash and this is stuff that I plan on donating. Now that I'm finally finished, like getting everything done with my house, um, I'm feel so relieved. Everything's so much cleaner. I'm going to head to Walmart Supercenter and see if I can find a fan. S something. Because I'm... <laughs> it, I'm dying. <laughs> Slowly. It's hot. So, um... I think we can find a fan. And I, I think I'm going to purchase me a power station here very soon. Um, I'm now seeing the importance of having a power station. I don't know which one I'm going to go with. But... Yeah. Let's head to Walmart Supercenter. I'll see you guys when I'm on the road. take the opportunity to try to get my fishing license they said veterans get it for free so let's go see so as far as the fishing license their system is down so they're not able to do it right now so he told me to come back wednesday at uh after two so we'll do it on wednesday after two 
out of all the fans that Walmart had, this is the one I decided to get. It's indoor outdoor. It's battery operated. It's the best bang for I your buck. Liberty. I'm still at Walmart because I want to make sure everything fit, and uh, I want to get rid of the box and trash while they have trash uh, cans here. So this is what I got. Sorry, I had to do a voiceover. They were playing really loud music, copyrighted music, but um, I got this indoor, uh, outdoor dual power portable fan. It is battery operated or plug in with AC adapter. So battery operated, anything is up my alley. Um, they did have USB charge uh, fans, but they were too small. And you know, I'd have, I just prefer battery. Okay, moment of truth, fam. Here we go. Huh, let's give it a let's set you up so y'all can see. Let's put you over here. Um, sorry for the low lighting. Just trying to reserve battery. Okay. Here we go. I'm nervous. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that feels good. That's medium. And this is high. Oh, wow, yes. I like this. Yup. Yup. And uh, I sleep at this end anyways, most more than most of the time. So I'll probably have it like facing like that and then going down. Cause you can adjust it where it goes down, up. Oh yeah, that feels good. That's where I'll store the fan. It's not gonna move, or I can store it up against the wall, but I prefer between two cushions. It's not bending it, it's not too tight. Uh, that's where I'll store it. <sighs> it's time to get up out of here. So I come out from getting lunch, and this is what I see. My exhaust hanging. <sighs> Never fails. Cheap products, man just freaking hanging off i gotta figure out a way to rig it until tomorrow i'm probably just gonna go straight from here to general rv my appointments tomorrow but i'm gonna go there this is too much <laughs> uh, not only is my jitterator messed up but you're gonna you're gonna this cheap rubber for this heavy pipe I am literally upset right now. <laughs> it just never ends. It never ends. It might have been something I ran over. I don't know how that snapped and broke. The only thing I can think of is this um, wire tape. I am not going to um, say what was me. Um, I don't have time to feel sorry for myself. Um, I'm just gonna go out and fix the problem. So let's go. Let's go fix the problem. So I was thinking of securing this pipe to this right here. It's just a bunch of wires. It's pretty steady. So I'm thinking about securing it. But um, this is what it looks like. This is like, if you can see that's metal. And they had this cheap rubber um, holding up um, this pipe, this, 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 this freaking pipe to metal. Cheap freaking rubber, man. Cheap rubber. Sorry, let me do it this way. Cheap rubber being held on this piece of metal instead of doing it something a little more securely. So... Let's secure it. Oh my goodness. I just have to, this is wild. Oh man, this is, is it holding up? Oh, it's holding up. Oh, it's holding up. I'm so glad that God showed me this instead of me being on the highway and this happening and this falling off. And, 
create more damage. Now we're done. Okay. And now we're going to just wrap this little piece around and then wrap it around like that and then secure it that way and then come around again and that should be good enough. That's it fam. Come to think of it, I think I know when that snapped. I was driving on the highway and there was some thick rope, like brown thick rope. Uh, tied up that it might have fall off of someone's truck and I couldn't avoid it so I ran over it and it hit up under my van and I bet you that rope hit that uh, plastic piece and um, broke it <sighs> let me put general RV in my GPS because that's where we're going right now we're staying there tonight how far is it 59 miles an hour that's okay. One hour away, we're going. So, I guess we're going to be camping overnight at General RV Center. So, let's go. I'll see you guys when I'm on the road. See you guys in a bit. pets allowed okay besides service dogs I don't know if I want to stay here um, there's like nobody here that's kind of eerie to me but there is night security um, so right now I'm probably just gonna go ahead and uh, stay here for the night it's been a long day of just um, a long couple days as you guys saw yesterday was kind of a just um, a chill day I went hiking um, I saw a cute little turtle you know today it's just getting stuff together getting stuff done um, and um, just dealing with the RV uh, like I said, I'm just grateful that it's it's never a good day or never a good time whenever something else goes wrong with your home on wheels. But uh, I'm just happy that I have an RV appointment tomorrow and hopefully they can fix it tomorrow. I know when that piece of rubber snapped, when I hit that uh, that thick, it's like uh, the kind of rope you would see where you hang a tire from and you see the tires swinging on the tree, that little thick brown rope. It was like, you know, tied up all neat and uh you know i didn't I, I couldn't avoid it i couldn't get in my left lane or the right people were on the side of me i couldn't try to avoid it without hitting somebody um so i ran over it because i was i had no choice and thinking nothing of it and i did hear a loud noise but i just thought maybe it was the rope hitting something you know just hitting a tire or something but not thinking that hey it snapped a piece of cheap rubber that was holding my exhaust pipe up at least make that metal you would think but so now my generator's completely done stick a fork in my generator the generator doesn't work it's at fault status and uh, the um, the uh, exhaust is 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 done the the uh, piece of rubber that holds it up but the good thing is is now I know another weakness um, on the outside of my RV that I'm gonna try to figure out um, a better way of kind of um, of securing that that rubber ain't it 
No, 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 no. That is not it. Okay, fam. I'm all secured. Vehicle is secured. And uh, I'm pleased that everything's done and set and ready for tomorrow. Um, despite everything, I'm still in good spirits. I literally have no worries about anything because I know everything is going to work out. Um, but we're going to get ready for bed. Put my watch up here. Uh, wallet. Oh, let me get my water. <sighs> Got my water. Okay, so... It is... 9.36. 9.37. So let's get ready for bed. Um, I got my new fan. I'm super excited. If you guys go back and watch my very first video, I'll put a little, no, I don't wanna drain the battery. Battery's already drained. Um, if y'all go back and watch my uh, very first video, um, you will see that I used to put my uh, cushions on my table and my table used to block the entryway into the cab. It was horrible. It was dangerous. But um, as you, as I get more experience, I'm learning and uh, I make smart adjustments along the way. So, oh, I'll just put the table right there. Now, let's set up the fan. I'm gonna turn it on, there's three speeds. That's uh, the low speed, medium, high. And uh, that feels good. There's my setup. There's my fan. Uh, there's my pillow, my reading light. Um, that I like to use it's kind of on high so y'all can see me but let me that's the lowest setting right there and I uh, got my car keys within arm's reach um, I installed that little hook specifically for my my keys and then um, I'm not gonna have any covers as it is freaking hot in here like I said 80 degrees Ooh. let's see let me lay down and see uh, make sure that this uh, Make sure that all oh, this fan is, this fan is everything. Let's move a little closer. Let me lay down. Okay, I can feel it. All right, it's perfect. But, uh, all right, I'm set for bed. I have an early morning. It's going to be all day, all day tomorrow at the RV center. And, uh, I'll be taking you guys with me and I'll be showing you everything that's hopefully I can get fixed everything they're gonna be documenting and um, what's gonna get done tomorrow I'll go over it um, tomorrow I'm actually paying for the services that are gonna be getting done on my RV which is much needed but I will go over all that tomorrow uh, not tonight we it's been a long couple days fun ups and downs but I survived and um, I'm not worried because I know everything's gonna work out and that's a good feeling to finally be at a place of peace where I just, it's gonna get fixed. They're worrying, does nothing. I know everything's gonna work out. I feel it in my soul, so I'm good. Thank you guys for hanging out with me the last couple days. Um, I do appreciate it and enjoy your company. Uh, you could have been doing anything, but you chose to hang out with me and that means the world to me. I do appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are freaking humble. You guys are amazing. And I'll continue to say it. I have the best community on YouTube. Thanks again for tagging along and uh, watching and supporting my journey, watching my videos, liking and commenting. That that's that means a lot. Thank you. But your girl's gone. It's time for me to get to bed. I have an early morning. Um, the life of a nomad. Uh, if you're thinking about being a nomad, living on the road, just know there's never a dull moment. You gotta be prepared, be prepared for anything, and you just gotta take everything uh, with a grain of salt, one day at a time, one day at a time. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.